नमस्ते भैया नमस्ते एवरीवन सो नाइस वी हैव कंप्लीटेड एक्सरसाइज वन व्हिच इज अबाउट ऑब्जर्विंग द सेल्फ बाय द सेल्फ दैट इज कॉन्शियसनेस ऑब्जर्विंग द कॉन्शियसनेस एंड हियर इज द समरी ऑफ द सेवन स्टेप्स दैट वी हैव बीन प्रैक्टिसिंग एंड आई होप बाय नाउ वी ऑल आर एबल टू keep all the seven steps in mind how to observe oneself so in step 1 we try to observe the imagination in particular the feeling without any evaluation without any judgment any reaction any effort to stop or change just observe it and we can see how important it is we could see that even though we have been practicing it about a month but still maybe we are not aware of the feeling maybe we are still facing the issues that we had discussed in step 1 so we have to keep practicing that we have to keep observing the imagination and we'll see that gradually we are able to observe the imagination as a pure observer in step 2 we evaluated it and try to see whether the feeling that i have at this moment is naturally acceptable to me or not that is if it is in accordance with human nature or not that is you know do we want to continue with it or not in step 3 we looked at the state of being and try to find out whether we are comfortable with it or not whether we are happy inside or not in step 4 we looked at the decision maker who is deciding my feeling and we could very much see that it is ultimately me who is deciding the feeling not the other person not the situation outside my feeling is my responsibility and thus my happiness is also my responsibility now it is a big shift in our imagination when i am able to see that ultimately i am 100% responsible for my happiness or unhappiness isn't it and thus i get free of the grudges for the people outside i get free of the complaints that i am carrying within because they may be responsible for the situation outside but not for the happiness inside me now in step 5 we try to look at the basis on which we decided the feeling whether it is right understanding or assumption and we could see that if it is right understanding then i am happy inside i am happy you know uh in continuity if i am going to have right understanding in completeness but if it is based on assumption then there is no definiteness of happiness i may be comfortable i may be uncomfortable the feeling may sometime be naturally acceptable to me may not be acceptable to me naturally and thus we can see the need for right understanding if i want to ensure happiness in continuity so in step 6a to find out what is to be understood we started looking into the natural acceptance and we could see that it is ultimately feeling of relationship harmony and coexistence that is naturally acceptable to me so in 6b we are able to decide for it that essentially i have to work for contemplation of relationship understanding uh understanding of harmony and realization of coexistence and that is my basic need unless i ensure it i am not going to be happy in continuity so in step 7 now we are trying to ensure so first we ensure try to ensure for a moment and then we try to ensure it in continuity and we try to ensure that all the decisions that we take are in accordance with it so this is that this is all that we have been practicing in exercise 1 if you have any question any reflection upon this you may kindly share we had a lot of discussion in the past two days with ganesh ji if you would like to share any take away in the past one month any particular shift that you could observe you can share here so the assignment that we had taken is the sum up of all the steps so observing the feeling in the imagination and then going through all the seven steps of exercise 1 in yourself which steps are you able to observe clearly within you and which steps do you think you need to make effort on so maybe you can respond in the chat box here which steps are you able to observe clearly within you first of all respond to this which steps you feel you know are somehow uh, easy for you you are able to accomplish 
and which steps are there if you find little difficult you can respond the chat box okay step number four is easy okay nice prashanji singh four step one is difficult okay Okay. Yeah. So we are able to accept that yes, it is me who is deciding the feeling. Yeah. Observing the feeling may appear difficult. That is somewhat correct because if I am able to observe the feeling, right, clearly as a pure observer, then rest may follow. Yeah, step one not happening continuously. Step seven is difficult, yes. So ensuring the feeling would mean awakening to the activities of contemplation, understanding and realization. That may be difficult at the moment. In fact, this is the completion point. So of course, the completion point is going to be difficult for me. So I think the crux is that we have to accomplish step one. If I'm able to do step one, Rightly, as a pure observer, this will follow. I think in step six also, you are able to observe that yes, it is ultimately the feeling of relationship, harmony, and coexistence that is naturally acceptable to you. And you need to develop yourself to be able to see this. In step five, also, you will see that observing the assumption behind my feeling may seem a little difficult at times. Yes, nice. So you can see how we are conducting a research upon oneself. Isn't it? Finding out one's own sanskars. Assumptions would mean the deeply seated assumption could be our sanskars. Right? And you'll see that ultimately we all are struggling with our sanskar. I have to observe my sanskar as a pure observer. They are my sanskars only, but can I observe them without being involved with my sanskar? Now see, I am getting affected. Now see, I am getting affected like this. Now this is my sanskar, the way I get affected by some feeling or some interaction with the world outside, the way I get affected, right? So here, is it right to, well, I was observing myself yesterday, day before yesterday also, and I observed that when the situations are unfavorable, then I want to walk away. So I have a question, is it right to walk away from the unfavorable situation or feeling, or shall I try, uh, try to stay in that situation or feeling and try to change my feelings from unfavorable to favorable? And then I was able to observe that the assumptions are very deep and difficult to change for me. And I am trying for the last maybe one more than one year. But this problem is not yet resolved. That I, wherever the preconditionings are very deep, it becomes very difficult to change. And it takes a lot of time to change the feelings from a disharmonious to harmonious. So how to handle this, Bhiya? Yeah, so essentially the unfavorable situation is not the issue. The issue is my assumptions. Yeah. So walking away may or may not be a solution. The issue is whether I am able to evaluate my feeling, evaluate the assumption and see my complementarity. So at times when if I stay there, and the situation gets spoiled further, I may move out, right? But whether I'm moving out with a feeling of complementarity for the others or as a reaction. For example, a meeting you there, <clears throat> people may not be agreeing to you, okay? They are simply denying your opinion and you walk away. So it doesn't mean like if you evaluate the situation, then it may be the case that you did not have the feeling of relationship with them and that's how you walked away. So, this will not be the right solution there, isn't it? But yeah. let's say uh, 
some nasty things are being discussed somebody complaining about some people in a very filthy manner so i did not get involved with it so i may walk away that is another thing if i am not able to draw their attention so whether staying in the situation or walking away is not the essence the essence is my feeling my feeling of complementarity with the other and if the situation is unfavorable right so i can see that situation is outside me within me i need to remain comfortable so what is that in me which is disturbing me yes this <clears throat> what you mentioned right just right now here yeah, that people are trying to you know say bad things about others and i am not liking it so many times i say that uh, let's not discuss this we can talk about something else but then if the other is not changing this attitude at all then i feel like walking away so this is the case actually that someone yeah. i am sitting with is very you know he is talking about others always and yeah. i am not liking this so this is making me uncomfortable so that is fine see but like two things are you know so maybe walking away from the situation you know would be the right step because if you do not walk away you become a part of the whole program so you become involved with it and somebody may say that yes this person was also talking nastily about other people because you were there mm. so you may walk yes. away but if you are getting uncomfortable inside right then you have to sort it out why am i getting uncomfortable can i yeah, see yeah, that intention of this particular person is also pure but the mm. competence is low that's how yes. this other person is talking you know so badly about some person so i have to see whether i have still the feeling of relationship or i have got opposition inside for this person yeah. yes this i have to see the but at that moment i am not able to change when i talk to anybody in the morning or when i am attending the morning session i am resolved but when the situation is there at that moment it becomes difficult to change my feelings so this yeah, is what i have you, observed that yeah that's why you will see that in step 7 we are saying we have to ensure the right feeling yes so just evaluation and digging out my assumptions is not complete i have to ensure yes. the right feeling yes we so this is where i am stuck i think this is where i am stuck still i am able to observe yeah. myself most of the time and able to see the feelings thoughts also but then when it comes to changing the feelings or becoming harmonious at all times this is still not done from my side yes so we need to still make effort for it see step 7 is not going to be complete in a day or two or a month or two right it is yeah, it some is. of the completeness of right understanding So it may take years together. It may yes, take a yes, life. Yes, yes, definitely, be a right. If you, yeah. So it's almost two years system. now that I am doing all this, but still, exercise one is still incomplete. I think. Yes, yes. See, you focus at step one first. You can see mm-hmm. that many times you are not able to observe your feeling. So in that situation also, maybe you get agitated. Mm-hmm. Get yes maybe get out of the situation and you are not able to observe this feeling also since you are uncomfortable you are trying to decide something at the level of thought yes But deciding something at the level of thought is not a definite solution the definite solution is ensuring the right feeling in me yes so you can do two things first of all like when you have been through the situation and the situation has got over you can still look into the situation and see what feeling you had what thought you had at that moment right ji bhi hai and then you can see the assumption what was irritating you what was making you uncomfortable what are the assumptions inside you okay one thing hai na and second thing for the people who are involved in this can i make proactively some program for them so that they have a right understanding and right feeling you'll see that 
it has become a common pastime for people that whenever they have time uh, from their daily routine spared, then they will assemble together and start complaining of people or talking loosely about the people and society and system. So this has become a common practice, right? So can we give them the right program? <clears throat> so whenever you have time, what is your program? Can you utilize this program for developing right feelings? Can you utilize this time for developing right understanding? So we have to work proactively. In fact, that's why we are working in education because we know that if the person does not have right understanding, he or she would be committing mistakes. So develop the right understanding right from the childhood so that the person has a holistic vision of life. Presently, the problem is with the vision. What we are observing is just the tip of the iceberg. The whole vision is somewhat you know, uh, wrongly conditioned. People yes. do not have a holistic vision at all. Yes. Yeah. They look at themselves and, as the body, physical <clears throat> facility as happiness, relationship as a burden. Okay. So they are always complaining. Yes, yes, we are. Most of the people I see, they are always in the complaining mode. Yes. They are not able to see the good qualities or the good things. They are mostly talking about the negative things or they are mostly complaining about the system or about someone yes. like this. Yeah. Nice. Thank you, Bhia. Yes, Thank you. Nice. Uh, first step, observation. Second, evaluation of feeling. Third, uh, I'm comfortable or uncomfortable. Both responsible. I'm responsible for that till the point it is okay. And when I enter into fifth, uh, uh, who decides the feeling? Uh, I decide the feeling, but sometimes I feel that it is due to outside. Then six is also okay, but seventh, bhaiya, seventh, difficult for me. Seventh is little bit difficult, little bit no, much more difficult. So what should I do for that? Start from step one. See, seventh yeah. is a completion point. So of course, right. you know, completion of any program will be coming at the last stage. So start yes. from step one. The more meticulously you are able to do this step one as a pure yes. observer. Right, Bhaiya. Yeah the easier with the following steps. So in step one, maybe many times, the moment we observe something, we start reacting. We start evaluating, we start you know, changing it or doing something or the other because we get restless. So mm -hmm. I have to observe my feeling as it is. So the more we are able to practice step one, the rest of the steps would be simple. Otherwise, uh, they would be difficult still for us. So that's why we say that the takeaway of exercise one is that I am able to see my feeling every moment. I and my feeling. Can I right. see it every moment? And though the exercise will be over now, step one, uh, this exercise one, but still this has to continue in me. Even after the batch uh, is you know, over and the next batch comes. But we have to continue with this step one. Right, Bhaiya. Nice, nice, Bhaiya. But Bhaiya, I think uh, when I used to do it, it is okay. But I afraid when I stop attending your class, I may be back to a square. I am afraid of this. Yeah, so it may be the case that presently our motivation to observe is also an influence from outside. Yeah. If I am able to see very naturally that it is ultimately this program which is going to ensure happiness in me in continuity, I will continue with it. And otherwise, it would be just some kind of external influence. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Right, Bhaiya. Right, Bhaiya. So I have to question Thank all you. these things. Yeah, gee, you have to question all these things. So when I skip over it, I do not do it, then what do I do? And why do I do it? What are the assumptions inside me? Mm -hmm. so essentially if you see for a human being 
to be able to see that it is basically the contemplation of right feeling understanding of harmony and realization of coexistence which is going to ensure happiness in continuity and this is something uh, which is to be achieved either through education or counseling you know, or dialogue if a human being gets focused on this that it is essentially the development of the self that is going to make me happy right bhai yeah. this shift has to take place nice bhaiya yes, thank you bhaiya thank you bhaiya thank you kumar bhaiya i missed you two days ji ji badhiya i was also there <laughs> i was also listening <laughs> okay uh, sir actually i am facing a problem like uh, uh, when i uh, i i need to do some work it is my part of work but i i am not i am not doing it uh, i will be planning for it uh, very nicely but uh, on the time of execution i i, I just procrastinate it at the end i will rush and i'll complete it with all uh, uh, uncomfortable in uncomfortable manner so again i i will just decide like i have to do this uh, uh, in the correct time and all but i am not able to do it sir and i think that uh, whatever uh, for example cooking only me and my son is there and my husband is in bangalore i have to do all these thing cooking and all packing and all but i if i am doing that i i will be doing with all irritation and all i have to do this i, I only have to do this like that i will be thinking and i have to do i will be doing so i know that it is naturally acceptable i have to do it but when i do it i i am very uncomfortable it is not with respect to this uh, many of the part of my work i will be doing with all uncomfortable uh, uh, feeling so how to overcome this sir yeah so basically find out what do you want to do so when you are postponing it okay or you are not liking to do at that point of time what do you want to do because whatever we do we do for the sake of happiness so something else is there within me in my imagination which i feel will make me happy so can i evaluate it what is the feeling at that point of time what am i looking for if you sort it out then this will also get sorted out because somehow you are conditioning yourself for this program with some thought okay because ultimately i have to cook and it is my responsibility so you have maybe you have still to explore whether it is a natural acceptable to me or i am looking at it as my duty yeah i am just looking at uh, yeah, as duty only sir because uh, my parents were there with me till uh, 36 years say so they were doing all the household chores and all i was uh, just concentrating on only out uh, outdoor works i was uh, i was going to college and coming back and i'll just uh, relax at home uh, everything else was taken care by uh, taken care by my mother actually so yeah. now uh, now it's uh, like uh, i have to do everything uh, to buy even uh, mustard i have to go out everything i have to take uh, take care so i am feeling so uncomfortable and i know it, it's my duty i am responsible for it but i am not liking it yeah yeah because you are looking at it as a duty merely you are not able to see the feeling so if you try to look at the feeling for example why do i have to cook if you look into the purpose so mm-hmm. if i am able to see that i am doing this with a feeling of affection then you will get naturally motivated but if that feeling of affection is not there you will not get naturally motivated mm-hmm. so essentially the right feeling is to be ensured but before that we can go through all this what is the feeling that i have when i have to cook presently so maybe i am getting uncomfortable i am getting irritated all this but what is the feeling inside me you know and then i can also look into the assumptions because i have got condition otherwise the way you are telling that earlier mother was cooking and you did not have this responsibility so you might be conditioned in some otherwise manner okay because somebody else will do something for me now this is something that your child is also observing hmm. that let <laughs> that let somebody else 
work for me why should i work for myself mm. and this becomes a common condition particularly if you look at the nuclear families where we have limited responsibilities and we can go our way and parents are sometimes over caring also for the children so this becomes a common problem and particularly when uh, the children get married right and they are not used to uh, work with their hands and get involved in the household chores so this becomes a problem in the relationship also okay so i have to look into all this right so you can start from step 1 so whenever you have to cook for example what is the feeling inside you right make out that feeling and then evaluate it right and then see the assumption behind it if you are able to see that it is ultimately me who is deciding the feeling so what is the assumption that i am carrying now you know mm-hmm. when you are able to look into the assumptions then you can also be able to see the need for right understanding so all these assumptions right which have conditioned me otherwise so like my mother was cooking by that logic also if you see at the level of thought you can decide that yes if my mother was cooking so i have to cook for my child but again i will not say that you decide it at the level of thought decide at the level of feeling and even let the child also what is the age of the child 10 years 10 years let the child also participate right mm-hmm. it's not that you are only going to cook and serve and he is going to eat no mm-hmm. so you can still you know you can see how the conditioning get developed so let that conditioning not develop in the child okay so let him participate also he can prepare okay. something for cooking you know he can keep the dishes in the bin so mm-hmm. all that can be practiced by the child yeah. also he can clean the place where he had been taking food mm-hmm. So if you make the right program for yourself, you can also make the right program for the other. Okay, 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 sir. Thank you, sir. Nice, nice. Thank. Ji, but yeah, the first step, um, when we are observing as a pure observer, um, we uh, so even evaluation, uh, is not part of purely observing, right? Because we are referring to certain states when we are evaluating uh, we are certain states are established in us and we label them as something and no, then we are if you are referring to certain states and you are labeling yeah. it is not evaluation okay okay step two, when we say evaluation it is finding out whether it is naturally acceptable to me or not it is not just not something and something like labeling good or bad no yeah it's just naturally acceptable or not that's the evaluation right yes and naturally acceptable that that state is yeah we know pardon what is naturally acceptable to us that's that one thing is we know i mean no keep that it open in step 2 you keep it open you do not know what is naturally acceptable but you are just trying to look into the natural acceptance in the process you are getting aware also of the natural acceptance so if i say that this is not relationship hence it is bad this is not right evaluation hmm so there may not be relationship is naturally acceptable to me at the moment so without giving any name any word to it just try to find out whether it yes so that is a part of evaluation right that seeing that whether it is naturally acceptable or not and uh, we keep it open we that we is feel that okay. evaluation that is the evaluation that is the evaluation yes that is the evaluation and uh, when observing uh, even we don't uh, while purely observing even we don't do that process that is also we have kept as a separate process right here yeah. i mean it's step number 2 yeah step so in step 1 you know you are not doing this because yes. the moment i start doing this i may not be evaluating also i may be getting involved with my own sanskar and labeling it which will not help and then i'll come yes. down to a level of thought and start analyzing things which is generally what we do correct 
till we have not in touch with our natural acceptance yes till then we will get into this mode directly getting into this thought and yes. analyzing and all that and bhaiya yeah, that is we call as a reaction right i mean something yes. which is we are not aware about yes like we are not aware that this is happening in our self and we are directly getting into some thought uh, some uh, expectation that we are calling it as a reaction right yeah so if i am not able to show the right feeling in me and is still interacting that is a reaction hmm. so it is of course based on some assumption which may or may not be in line with natural acceptance but i am not verifying there is some assumption yes. inside me and i'm just operating at the level of thought and then deciding things that becomes a reaction so being not aware at the level of feeling and directly getting into some thought yes that is that is a reaction right that is a reaction yeah so somebody is mm-hmm. talking to you and mm-hmm. and you are getting irritated now you are un- mm-hmm. unaware of this and with that irritation you speak something Mm. So that yeah. feeling of irritation is there in you, which you are unaware of. The assumption inside you, you are not aware, and then you are deciding your words at the level of thought. Mm. Yes, and even it may not be expressed outside, but just the thought in the mind, without getting aware about your feeling, uh, that is also reaction. But when we see that, okay, I am irritated. and because of that this thought is coming this is a awareness about the process and then i can see where the irritation is coming what is the samskar behind this irritation yes then it's a observation process right i mean yeah so i am not yeah. getting involved with my samskar i am observing the feeling first of all as it mm. is yes presently if you see when we call it as a feeling also no we may not be able to observe the feeling we are just trying to look for that feeling but mm. it will be there will be moments when you are able to observe the feeling and you can see it distinctly and uh, uh, different from thought hmm ji bhaiya matlab this is currently yeah, happening yeah. sometimes when the feeling is strong or <laughs> very prominent like like you said irritation or um uh, at that time you see the feeling <clears throat> but otherwise you are what you are saying is true that we are i am looking for and yeah yes thank you bhaiya thank you nice bhaiya till clarification in step 5 um that uh, after i decide that yes i take the take the full responsibility of deciding of my feeling and uh, then i need i try to know about the what are the sources by which on the basis of which i have decided this so in that there are i know that there are three sources preconditioning or assumption then sensation and natural acceptance so when i go to the fifth step then how to observe that from which source it is coming my decide decision is coming so let you can you you have to no, investigate from, uh-huh. this from no but the, what is the process i am asking that i have to do i know by asking why why Achha. and what what do i assume about the other and why do i feel like this for the other no suppose i am i am in uh, uh, having good feeling i mean i am not in opposition i feel uh, the relationship so in that case i need not know the source no again i have to know the source so it may be the case that momentarily i have the right feeling okay but if i do not mm-hmm. evaluate it again and not look into the source i may enter into over evaluation so somebody did something favorable for me i felt related 
but now i started assuming that this is the best friend of mine this is the best person in the world now i have started over evaluation so this is the way we keep on fluctuating in our evaluation in our assumption in our feeling if somebody does something favorably for me i start over evaluating if somebody does something unfavorably for me i start under evaluating so it's only a moment when we are you know, going through right evaluation otherwise this fluctuation for over to under under to over keeps on happening in us and we are not able to stay and continue with right evaluation because the reality is not clear i am not able to see that human being is coexisting of self and body so i am not looking at the other person as a self right i am not able to see the relationship between self and self i am trying to look for happiness as something from outside so if somebody gifts me something as a physical facility right i start feeling related if somebody does not do something like this i start feeling uh, somewhat opposed to the person so these fluctuations will be happening so i have to continue with this even if in fact when you say i have a good feeling you know what does what does this good mean i have to make out mm-hmm. so that uh, in other words it means to say that i must doubt my the that feeling at that stage no, and doubting. find out what is the reality no not doubting evaluating no so i can always keep yeah. on evaluating whether it's natural naturally acceptable to me or not so for example the wife prepared tea for you in the early morning right yeah yeah and yes related. example will be yes. yeah and then you start expecting too much from the wife because now you have it over over evaluated so maybe before the tea was prepared you were thinking about something about the spouse which might not be they are based on relationship feeling of relationship now that she has prepared tea i have this feeling of relationship but now i am going into over evaluation now i may assume this other person always should be preparing tea for me in the morning now what i have done i have now under evaluated the other so you can see if situation is favorable right i over evaluate and then when i start expecting hai na something which is not based on natural acceptance i start under evaluating the other person so if people take too much care of you you feel like that i am the boss of the house and everybody should be working for me only i should be giving instruction nobody should be giving instructions to me right now what is happening here situation is favorable so when people interact with you you have the feeling of relationship but now you have entered into over evaluation of yourself and under evaluation of the others i am not able to see in that case yeah yeah so in that case if the if i take this same example you have given so in that case whenever uh, evaluation takes place so in that stage uh, how should be my feeling i mean uh, nothing like not should or to... nothing like uh-huh. should you keep on doing this observing your feeling observing uh-huh. your feeling evaluating your feeling and transforming your feeling mm-hmm. acha okay let me see try again nice thank you thank you so uh, definitely what we are discussing from the morning step number 1 is really seems to be difficult but due to the process and we are going through so the uh, the cycles uh, it seems to be now uh, somewhat means improving जी भैया हमको हमें बार बार देखते रहना चाहिए ऐसा मुझे लग रहा है प्लीज स्टेप नंबर वन या 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 यू हैव टू कंटिन्यू कंटिन्यू विद दिस एंड द मोर यू वांट टू कंटिन्यू फॉर दिस विल सी दैट यू आर गेटिंग मोर एंड मोर क्लोज टू द स्टेट ऑफ अ प्योर ऑब्जर्वर जी 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 देन एंड देन ओनली वी कैन रीच टू दिस स्टेप नंबर सेवन एंड ऑफकोर्स स्टेप नंबर फोर इज वेरी मच यूजफुल फॉर मी दैट आई एम ऑब्जर्विंग की it is the essence you can say if we are going to through 1 2 3 2, then finally if one gets that step number 4 then there is no question of step number 5 also how to see the assumptions 
आई थिंक सो इज इट लाइक दैट भैया से इट अगेन After uh, verifying step number four, or when it is confirmed that I am hundred percent responsible for my happiness, then step number five. Uh, so it may be based upon assumption or so. I don't think it is to be seen. Step number five. No, no, it has to be seen. See, even after observing the feeling, if you do okay, not observe okay. your assumption, so that may be underlying your whole effort, and that ah, may still ah. sustain in you. So okay. you are again dictated by your sanskars, your assumptions. If you have not evaluated, Ji. so again you will start operating at the level of thought that let this not happen with me. Let me do the right thing. You Ji. start working in terms of do's and don'ts. Yes. See these uh, sanskars only are driving our whole imagination, even feeling. Yes. So I have to observe these assumptions, these sanskars, <clears throat> and unless I am able to observe it clearly, okay, and Ji. evaluate it clearly, I am not able to transform it also. जी फॉर एग्जांपल आई हैव सम अजम्पशन अबाउट डिफरेंशिएशन विद द अदर जेंडर फॉर एग्जांपल मेन आर सुपीरियर वुमेन आर इंफीरियर आई एम हैविंग दिस अजम्पशन सो व्हेनेवर आई एम इंटरैक्टिंग विद अ वुमन मे बी दैट अजम्पशन इज मिसगाइडिंग माय फीलिंग आई एम एबल टू सी दैट यस आई हैव फीलिंग ऑफ डोमिनेशन हियर जी राइट आई एम ट्राइंग टू इवैल्यूएट दैट दिस इज नॉट एक्सेप्टेबल टू मी नेचुरली बट अनलेस आई एम एबल टू सी दैट Essentially, I am differentiating from the other gender because I am looking at the other as a body. How Ji. will I develop this feeling of relationship, of self Ji. and self? Not possible. Ji. So it is the continuous efforts we have to see the assumptions. First of all, the way to see what is the feeling in me. Step number one, and that too without reaction. Ji, boya. Thank you. Thanks a lot for the nice discussion. Namaste, sabhi ko. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. So, as a gist, if you see, now I can be in this state. I, which is the consciousness, the self, I am observing myself. I am observing my imagination, my desire, that is feeling, thought, and expectation every moment. Every moment, without any reaction, without evaluating it, without trying to change it, observing it just as it is. Right. the feeling thought that i have at this moment is it natural for me or not is it in accordance with human nature or not would i like to continue with it or not third with the feeling thought that i have at this moment am i comfortable within or uncomfortable within in harmony within or in a state of contradiction within in a state of happiness or in a state of unhappiness then step 4 who decides the feeling thought that i have at this moment does someone else decide the feeling or the situation outside decided it do i decide it myself so as you mentioned that at least at the level of thought we are able to make out that yes it is ultimately me who is deciding right but again as you are sharing earlier also that this has to come naturally when the situation is unfavorable when we are getting irritated uncomfortable then at that point of time also can i see this naturally that it is ultimately me who is deciding this feeling i am responsible for getting irritated and not the other person at that point of time this is something that i have to observe for myself i will own the responsibility for my feeling my conduct and then try to transform it on what basis do i decide my feeling thought every moment at this moment do i decide it on the basis of my understanding or in the absence of understanding do i decide it on the basis of my assumptions preconditioning my sanskars when i decide on the basis of understanding i am able to choose the right feeling when i decide on the basis of assumptions some preconditioning it is not clear whether i will choose the right feeling or otherwise so in step 6a i am finding out which feelings are natural for me feeling of relationship or feeling of opposition feeling of harmony or feeling of disharmony feeling of coexistence or feeling of struggle and step 6b i need to ensure right feeling of right understanding of relationship harmony and coexistence in its completeness so in step 7a i need to ensure 
that the feeling that I have at this moment is in line with the feeling of relationship, harmony and coexistence and not otherwise. If these feelings are ensured in continuity, then we will be in a state of ha harmony and happiness every moment. I can see when I'm able to understand relationship, harmony and coexistence completely, I will be able to decide my feeling accordingly and I will always be comfortable within in a state of happiness, harmony in continuity every moment. So you can see how worthy it is, isn't it? Essentially, we are all aspiring for happiness and continuity. And we are all struggling with our sanskars. And that's how it is so important. And I have to make it the first priority in my life. Unless I choose it as the first priority, okay, this is going to be some uh, temporary program for me. So sometimes I feel motivated and do it. Then I feel demotivated and drop it. Sometimes I see its importance. Sometimes I feel that this is just taking my time. There are more important things to do in my life. right? And while doing those more important things which I have assumed, I may be missing out my happiness. And maybe also taking decisions without self-observation, which may be leading my life to a state of disharmony, confrontation, opposition, all those things are possible. So nice. We have to continue with this. So with this, we conclude exercise one. Now we'll go to exercise two. So this is just the summary that we had. So exercise G. Exercise two is observing, that is seeing. Where can we go to the previous slide? If there is something additional, I'll just go to it. Yes, so I think the conclusions, let me read it out. What I'm going to achieve, what is going to be my state with exercise one. So I am able to observe myself, my imagination, that's the desire, that is feeling, thought, and expectation every moment. So the takeaway of this whole exercise is that I'm able to observe my imagination, in particular the feeling every moment. I'm able to observe the feelings which are natural to me, of which I want continuity. With these feelings, I'm in harmony within, in a state of happiness within. I myself decide the feelings that I have. It means I myself am responsible for my own happiness or unhappiness. I'm completely responsible, 100% responsible. So I can get over complaining about others. I become willing to make effort for my self-development, for my own transformation. Basis of making decision is either understanding or assumptions, preconditioning. So when I decide on the base of understanding, I'm able to choose the natural feeling and be comfortable. When I decide on the base of assumptions, it is not clear whether I will choose the natural feeling or not. Therefore, I feel the need to ensure the right understanding within myself. Then step seven, step six, feelings of relationship, harmony, and coexistence are naturally acceptable to me. Therefore, to understand relationship, harmony, and coexistence is my basic need. And thus, concluding in step seven, by ensuring the feelings of relationship, harmony, and coexistence, I will be in a state of happiness at this moment. Ensuring this every moment, I will be in a state of continuous happiness. By understanding relationship, harmony, and coexistence completely, my feelings, my thoughts will be naturally in line with relationship, harmony, and coexistence. And I will always be in a state of continuous happiness. So these are the conclusions from exercise one. And I have to see whether I've been able to conclude this naturally for me or not. Sir, um, yeah. uh, nature's built up is in a mutually fulfilling way. Then why it is weeds, for example? Weeds are harmful for uh, farmers. Uh, parasites, uh, uh, so many things are there. So they are not mutually fulfilling to human beings. Actually, what is the need for their existence? They do so much damage to uh, our work or our existence. 
the, how can we consider them as uh, um, that is uh, they support mutual exist i mean coexistence or harmony yeah the first thing that you said was bees weed weed weed, weed. okay hmm. okay we have to study about all this see from where did the weed come so there are many weeds which have come up because we ourselves did not fulfill the harmony with the nature okay for example this lemon uh, this uh, gajar ghas as we say it is a common weed in the north it was not there earlier 100 years back but it has now grown so much so from where did this come so one possibility is that we did not fulfill the harmony with the nature and that's how certain things got you know emerged in the nature right through the process in the nature the second thing is that all these things have a role to play okay. they have a definite participation only that they have to be in the right place so, so unknowingly we... yeah if you place them rightly right then they will fulfill the nature now if you look at the weed also so for example when we are cultivating the weeds might be you know taking the manure from the soil but when you are not cultivating these weeds are only uh, protecting the top soil otherwise the top soil will get eroded when it rains the grasses are there weeds are there isn't it and if you look at the insects that are there they are food for the birds if you look at the birds they are picking insects from these weeds so you know with right understanding and with right skill i can make out the right participation of these weeds and utilize them rightly so um, for example we take food from the mouth you know you start taking food from the nose it is going to be injurious so the food has its role only that it has to be properly placed yes sir but uh, so if i farm where, during farming if i take away weeds or kill weeds uh, destroy weeds destroy index insects then it is not a uh, cruelty isn't it again there i i will go through both the steps so for example where did these weeds come from where did these insects come from second secondly what is their proper role i identify so in place of killing we can also think of making the right program at times it could be desired okay so they don't have the self so we can kill them also but if i can find the right uh, participation for these insects and all that would be better so for example if you look at the insects they are doing cross pollination if you remove the insects the crop produce will go down something that we have been referring to earlier also no so in china they felt at one point of time that these insects and birds are destroying our crops they are taking a share of our produce so they started killing them and in mm. two years there was a big havoc natural havoc and people died one crore people died more than one crore one oh. crore data was given officially because these are also fulfilling the nature the insects and the bees and the birds they are doing cross pollination Mm -hmm. there is research which says that if you remove all these insects from the planet then within 6 weeks you know mm. will not have anything to eat uh huh yeah can yeah. yes yes tara bhaiya you wanted to add something no way i had a question and uh, let us read this question i mean she gives an idea that the corona virus kind of thing like if we are <laughs> fighting against it then i mean are we doing something wrong or kind of thing so that is clear from your uh, i mean your reflection i would uh, do yeah, have yeah. a question yeah yes. uh, like uh, yesterday and when ganesh sir was taking session uh, we talk on sanskar and we also talk of competence so uh, how can we differentiate the yeah, the competence and sanskar or current level of competence or current level of uh, sanskar how can we 
संस्कार इज द बंडल ऑफ माई एजम्पन विच मे बी इन लाइन विथ इट विच मे नॉट बी इन लाइन विथ इट बट आई एम नॉट वेरीफाइड So in step five, what we are observing is the sanskars. In step seven, what we are developing is the competence. Thank you so much, Vijay. Thank you. Okay. Nice, Vijay. So we'll just open up exercise two, and then we'll start practicing from tomorrow. So nice, very detailed. discussion we had over exercise 1 we talked about all the facets of this observation the way we get misled the way we have to observe you know so in exercise 2 now the consciousness is observing the material so observing seeing the body and the interaction between the self and the body so the self i is the consciousness body is a material unit so in the process of observing the body i am able to observe the material and my interaction with the material and if you see if i am able to observe the consciousness and the material i am able to observe the whole nature so this is just one way of looking within and not the only way the steps mentioned in this exercise are one possible set of steps and not the only set of steps so exercise t2 is observing the body by the self right so this will start tomorrow and we'll continue with it now you'll see that this is also very important to observe when i go to observe my feeling many times i get influenced by the sensation from the body and my whole feeling gets tampered with it colored with it right so something i'm carrying within as a sanskar i have to observe and then transform and the sensation that i am getting from the body is also triggering some sanskar in me or also you know uh generating new kind of sanskars in me right so this is very important to observe we'll do it now onwards so presently it is time to switch to hindi session